Many events taking place in India in the run-up to the big game, including a flag football matchup between wounded veterans and some NFL stars. We've learned a local veteran will be playing in that game. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell talked to him tonight. She continues our in-depth coverage live from our newsroom. Susan, Greg Reynolds is excited about his once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and he says he hopes people will be inspired by the game he's going to play. Greg Reynolds doesn't play for the Patriots or the Giants, but he will be playing football in Indianapolis next week. It's going to be a great feeling because I'm a big fan of New England Patriots and they're going to be playing on that field. And I'm hoping that uh, it will provide some motivation for them to get the job done. On Wednesday, Greg, along with other players from the Wounded Warrior amputee softball team, will play their first ever flag football game against current and former NFL players. It's all part of the celebration leading up to this year's Super Bowl in Indy. I like to think that when people see me play, it provides uh, them a sense of hope. Greg's road to the Super Bowl began after a 15-month tour of duty in Iraq. When he returned home, he was injured in a devastating motorcycle accident. My life changed forever in three seconds. Greg was rushed to the hospital. He was given more than 100 units of blood, his left arm was amputated, and he was in a coma for six weeks. Doctors didn't think he would make it. My odds for survival were 1 in 2,000. Recovery was a slow process, but Greg was determined not just to survive, but to thrive. According to his mom, mission accomplished. He's the same in a lot of ways, and he's better in other ways. Ways that everyone will see at the Super Bowl. The mentality is, is uh, just to go out there and have fun and raise awareness and show people that despite our amputations, that really um, we're limitless in what we do and what we're capable of doing. Greg is flying to Indy on Tuesday. Before the big flag football game, he and the rest of the team have a full schedule of media appearances. Live in the newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.